Things were far from stable. A horrible horse named Haman 
Hey, man. Oh, no. He never horsed around, according to the Gallup polls. He was the roughest animal in the barnyard. He neighed at everyone. Now, hang in the horse, the horse, the horse. You make the duke bow down by force. He's an evil son of a friend. Go right to the source and ask the horse. He'll give you the answer the king endures. If you don't bow, there's no recourse. He's an evil son of a friend. Hey, king. Today's payment. Probably heard of me. I'm the most majestic creature who ever lived. I want to take the reins of the kingdom since you're possibly the dumbest dog I ever saw. I'm happy to roll over and let you lead me around by a leash. You can be the top dog. I'm no dog, you dumb mutt. I'm a donkey playing a horse. <laughs> now sit and sit. Heyman trotted around the kingdom. <laughs> telling everyone to sit and stay till he told them they could move. Everyone was afraid of him, except for Mordecai. Mordecai. Right. Oh, <laughs> sit and stay. Until I tell you, you can go for a walk. Sir, you're barking up the wrong tree. I'm Jewish by breed. When I had my bark mitzvah, I promised that only God would be my master. I won't listen to your commands. Nay, how dare you disobey me? Just for that, I'm going to pass a law. Say, pass a law? It was only a fourth century at that time. Anyway, <laughs> saying that all the Jews must be must stay in the doghouse permanently. Haman. <laughs> Galloped as fast as he could over to the king. 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 There are a bunch of bad dogs in your kingdom. They refuse to be trained. They won't listen to my commands. I need you to help me pass. Here we go, passing a law again. <laughs> she has a lot to learn. That they will all be put in the doghouse. Rook, rook. Oh, okay. If that's what you want me to do, I'm a good boy. <laughs> the news of this new law spread quickly. Mordecai sent his top dog to the palace to tell Esther that she was the only hope to save the Jewish breed. If she didn't nip this in the bud, it would be catastrophic. <laughs> Esther sent her guard dog to tell Mordecai to sit and stay in the town square for three days. Then she would go to speak to the king about Haman. <laughs> Mordecai and the other Jewish dogs sat in the middle of the town square. They howled and yelped and wouldn't eat their food, not even their favorite treats. After three days of not eating one bite of her fancy feast, Esther went to the king. She felt like a scary cat. She knew that if you show up on the king's doorstep without an invitation, he could bite you. But he wagged his tail and promised Esther he would give her whatever she wanted. What's new, Kitty Cat? <laughs> well, I just came to ask you if you and that horse came. To the royal feast with me. I have to tell you something special. I can't tell you what it is, but I'm going to have all your favorite treats. I'll even let you eat out of my bowl. Oh, wow. You don't have to ask me twice. I'm handy just thinking about it. So the king and Haman pranced <laughs> into her special dinner. This food is so delicious. I'm gobbling up everything I see. I nearly forgot. What were you going to tell me? I just wanted to know if perhaps you and that horse would like to come to another fancy feast tomorrow. You're so purred. I would do anything for you, my little 
Meanwhile, Haman oh! ran out of the banquet, feeling like he was definitely going to win this horse race. He built a 75-foot-tall doghouse to put Mordecai in. He couldn't wait to shut the door and never let him out. That night, the king could not sleep. Oh, I shouldn't have eaten all that kibble. Why didn't I remember that fancy beast is for cats, not dogs? Guard dog, read me my royal veterinary history. Maybe that will put me to sleep. It says here that there were two rats who wanted to give you a permanent case of rabies, but a labradoodle named Mordecai let Esther know, and they were exterminated instead. Well, I hope that Mordecai got a very special treat for this. Looks like everyone forgot your royal dogness. <laughs> that morning, Horsey Haman <laughs> galloped in to ask the king for permission to put Mordecai in the doghouse. Haman. <laughs> what kind of treat should I give to a good boy who deserves a reward? Mm. King is obviously talking about me. Well, I think that someone should be dressed in royal clothing with a royal crown on his head. Just like the winners of the Kentucky Derby, wherever Kentucky is. And then they should put them on the carriage and have, have the dogs pull them around so everyone will bow down to them. Perfect. Do everything you just said for Mordecai. He's my golden labradoodle. Wait, what? You're barking up the wrong tree. Go do that for Mordecai, the doodle. It was a rough day for Haman. Yay! As you can imagine, but it was going to get worse. The king called him to the separate banquet with Esther. Once again, the king begged Esther to tell him what she wanted. Oh, king, someone is going to put me and all the Jewish breeds into the doghouse and we'll never let them out. Only you can save us. Girl, what kind of animal would do such a thing? Bad horse. Take him! Girl, our dogs. Take him and put him in the ground. <laughs> Jews out! 